All right, guys, in this tutorial, we'll be covering split toning black and white images. Now, this is one of my favorite effects in Lightroom because it allows me to create duotone black and whites or split tone black and whites or vintage black and whites, whatever I want, basically, with this effect. Now, a duotone black and white is basically where you take a color and you add it on top of a black and white to kind of create a more rich monotone feel. Now in, in Photoshop we're allowed to uh, add multiple colors. So you can create duotone which is two colors or tritone which is three colors or quad tone which is four color black and white images. In Lightroom we're limited to basically one color so we're limited to duotoning but still we can get a really cool effect. So we're gonna work on the last image that we just did in the previous tutorial with a monk holding the beads. We're gonna use our snapshot to start with the black and white plus grain effect and then let's go over to our split toning panel and let's start playing around with it. Now I'm going to show you guys basically there's two ways to make the adjustments. The first way is by just moving the hue up and down to choose a color and then adjusting the saturation to adjust the strength of that color. Um, same thing when the shadows, so up here you're adjusting for the highlights, down here you're adjusting for the shadows, in the middle you're adjusting the balance. So for example if I raise the saturation here and then I change this to blue and I raise the saturation here when I change the balance down to the bottom, we're seeing more color in the shadows. When I go up to the top, we're seeing more in the highlights. So in between is a mixture of the two. All right, so I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to reset both the highlights and reset the shadows. And I'm going to show you my favorite way for making this adjustment. Um, I'm going to click right on this little color swatch, and it's going to bring up this panel. Now from here, I can select a color anywhere I want and dragging up is going to increase the saturation, dragging down will decrease the saturation. So I can see the colors very easily uh, and then just adjust saturation up and down from here so I can, I can kind of get a visual example of what I want from the image. So what I want in this one is to create a duotone effect just over uh, the entire image where we kind of overlay a color. So what I'm going to do is select kind of an orangish color right here just kind of create a rich black and white effect. So we're going to go about right there for the highlights. I'm going to close that and then going to go into the shadows and do the same thing. I want to pick around the same color in the shadows but not quite so powerful. Alright, about right there is good. I'm going to close that and we'll play with our balance just to get the right kind of feel for it. I think right around plus 13 is where I want it. And you can see how it just adds kind of uh, it's more of a monotone image now. It adds this rich kind of feel to our, our black and white image. So I'm going to save this as duotoned black and white plus grain. So we can kind of flip back and forth and see. So here's the original and here's that duotoned image. Now let's go to our next image. I'm going to show you guys kind of a cool split toning effect for uh, this next image. I want to go to the one with this uh, worker inside of the factory. Um, I'm going to first convert this to black and white. We're going to make a few adjustments here. Um, I don't want to. I don't need really too much black and white mixing. I think it's about good where it's at. But I'm just going to increase the uh, contrast and the blacks a little bit to make it more dramatic. Really kind of darken up the image a little bit. Next thing I want to do again is I'm going to zoom in. We're going to add my my grain to kind of turn it into that film look. All right, and I think about plus 55 is good. Let's kind of tweak our size. I want to be able to see some facial details, so about plus 20 is still good for that image. And that's great. Next, we're going to save this just as a snapshot, so we're going to go black and white plus grain, just so we have a before image that we can compare it against. And now we're going to go to our split toning. This time what I'm going to do is, in the highlights, I want it to be kind of have a warm feeling in the highlights, so I'm going to adjust my uh, my highlight saturation to be kind of an orange, kind of a bright orange with a little bit more saturation in it. And then in my shadows, I want kind of a very cold feel, so I want it to be more blue. And we're going to adjust it down a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is kind of create a vintage looking split toned image where we have some blues in our shadows and a kind of a warm feeling in our highlights. And so I need a little bit more highlight blend right now just to see a little more of the highlight colors. And that's about where I want it. So if I zoom in I can see how we have a nice little blue kind of drop off in the in the shadows and we have kind of a nice warm feel in the highlights. If I want to increase the strength of either the highlight color or the blues I can just pull the highlights up, so the saturation up on the highlights and I can do the same thing in the shadows if I want to kind of create a little more blue in the shadows. And that's great. I'm going to increase the vignetting just a tiny bit to darken it up a little bit more and then we're going to save this as split toned 
black and white plus grain. All right, guys, so let's check out the original black and white, and then here's that split tone black and white. So you can kind of see the additional color that we added, it, warming up the highlights as well as cooling off the uh, shadows. Kind of gives it that nice vintage feel, uh, and, and also some a nice depth to that original black and white. All right, guys, so that's two ways you guys can use split toning to add a lot of creative flair to those black and white images.